advertisers are trying harder than ever to catch the attention of customers. But sometimes things don't work out as planned. Here's Diana Buckner with a roundup of the year's biggest marketing failures. U2's new album is called Songs of Innocence, but the band is guilty of one of the year's most expensive marketing disasters, thanks to Apple. If we gave it away for free... Apple CEO Tim Cook reportedly paid $100 million to give the recording as a gift to customers. But first you would have to pay for it. Millions of iPod users were furious that an unwanted record was taking up space on their device. Oops. Um... I'm sorry about that. Apple had to create a removal button. This year saw some Canadian marketing disasters as well. One went so wrong, the police were called in. Wait, what's this? Coors Light is hiding rescue boxes across Canada? A Coors contest turned into a headache for Toronto commuters when a police officer saw a prize-filled briefcase sitting at a busy downtown intersection and thought the worst. Rush hour traffic was frozen. People complained loudly on Twitter. And obviously with this one particular suitcase, they put it in the wrong place. This professor of marketing says companies can play it safe with conservative campaigns. And if you do that, chances are you're not going to get into trouble. On the other hand, you're not going to stand out. And marketing is all about standing out. Lenovo Canada sure stood out, putting a $1,400 computer on sale for $279, but it turned out to be a pricing error. It seemed like a really good deal. Thousands of customers saw their orders cancelled. An online petition to have the low price honoured didn't work, and the disaster was dubbed Lenovo Gate. Maybe we didn't put our best foot forward when we entered into Canada. Then there was Target's apology video. We we're stocking up in certain areas that we used to lack in before. But... The chain was sorry in June. Inventory issues were still a problem in September. If you haven't got things fixed back in the store, you just compound the problem. Not only have you not fixed the problem, so given the person a second bad experience, you also look like you're not sincere with the video that you put out in June. And finally, Malaysian Airlines Bucket List Contest, a reference to activities you want to do before you kick the bucket. It was launched after the airline's two fatal flights. That campaign was quickly nixed. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Toronto. And Mary Charlson is a local marketing strategist, and we heard there some of the big sort of international ones, the U2, even that Malaysian Air bucket list story. What are some local marketing fails we've seen here in Vancouver? Well, you know, there's been a couple of things. I know BC Transit got themselves into trouble this fall with the big massive transit failure, mm -hmm. where they suggested to people that perhaps they should go out and get a coffee and a muffin, which, you know, they were thinking on the fly at the time, trying to kind of calm a situation, get people out of the stations. but. In hindsight, it probably wasn't the best thing to say. You had irate passengers. They, everyone's wired with their cell phones. You know, they're immediately tweeting. tweeting and, <laughs> and the media know, like you guys, yeah. know that there's a transit outage. And they go looking for hashtags, the logical things like, you know, TransLink, you know, issue, problem, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. So that's a classic case of more PR management. Uh, you know, calm the situation, you know, maybe... <laughs> Just say what they want to say. I mean, if Translink wanted to come down and give out some vouchers for coffee, I think it would have gone over a little bit better. <laughs> Personal opinion. A any other examples that stick out to you? Well, there's a couple things. Uh, it was the Lululemon um, mantra bag. Now, Thanks. that kind of blew up with the, the sunscreen thing. I mean, to be perfectly honest, Lululemon's been an easy target. You know, ever since the, uh, the two sheer rice, pant fiasco. Rice. Um, people have gone looking, and I believe that that quote around "don't use sunscreen" it apparently might be, had been there for years. It, it's, it's been there for years, yeah. right? And along with you know dancing, floss, and travel, friends are more important than money. Um, it's been there for years, but I think someone went looking, and you know to be honest, with a young, you know, fit female audience. Maybe it's not the best advice, or maybe they're not the ones to be delivering the advice. Now, looking at all these examples, you, you must think when putting together any strategy, there's a group of people sitting there talking about this. Someone's going to have to say, you guys, this might not be the best idea. Is, yeah. Isn't there not those sort of... Yeah, you know, but also marketing is also about kind of being a little edgy, doing things to get noticed, right? And especially in the age of social media, we're trying to kind of get publicity, get noticed. Um, I mean, there's a classic example is Air Canada and I got rouged this right. last year, right? When they changed some of their Air Canada flights to being rouged flights. 
people who had pre-booked got stuck on a smaller seat yeah. um, and I know that kind of rolled out and it, you know it's not a good thing when your brand name becomes a sticky term that's negative right and I got rouged just took off as a, as a Twitter thing so you, you know again you got to you can't anticipate that mm -hmm. right but then uh, you've got to manage it take it offline well thanks for the uh, local examples hey, no problem